Good morning. It's Saturday morning. Today we read from Romans 14, 1 through 6. As for the one who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. One person believes that he may eat anything, while the weak person eats only vegetables. Let not the one who eats despise the one who abstains, and let not the one who abstains pass judgment on the one who eats, for God has welcomed him. Who are you to pass judgment on the servant of another? It is before his own master that he stands or falls, and he will be upheld, for the Lord will make him able to stand. One person esteems one day better than another, while another esteems all days alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. The one who observes the day observes it in the honor of the Lord. The one who eats, eats in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks to God, while the one who abstains, abstains in honor of the Lord and give thanks to God. So Paul is uh, addressing here a very real issue in the life of the early church. Um, in Rome and in Corinth and in places like that in those days, the, uh, the Roman pagans um, were the meat merchants. I mean, they were meat merchants. And so what they would do is take uh, the, say, the cow to the uh, pagan shrine early in the morning, and there it would be sacrificed in honor of, of Diana or somebody. And then they would get the meat from the slaughtered animal, take it down to the market, and sell it. And for Christians who had previously been pagans, this became an issue of conscience. How could you eat meat sacrificed to an idol that we used to worship? Isn't that like worshiping that idol? And so some of them would not eat meat. They became vegetarians. And other people said, ah, you know, with Paul, it doesn't matter, it's just meat. And so that was an issue. And apparently it was sort of dividing the church a little bit. The vegetarians were looking at those who ate meat and saying, oh, you liberals would do anything. And the ones who ate meat were looking at the vegetarians and say, stop being fundamentalists. And so Paul says, you know, you're all wrong because God made the meat and God, you know, we should all just get along and honor God. And uh, we don't have the right to judge each other, which is going to be the point later in the few verses later in the in the chapter um, or esteeming a day as more important than another um, I think he's referring to things like um, uh, keeping say, say keeping the um, Jewish uh, holidays or remembering the Jewish holidays or or um, uh, in our time there are certain days that are um, recognized as important by the Roman Catholic Church that we Protestants pay no attention to at all. We had one about a week ago, March 25th. Does anyone know what March 25th was? Hands? I don't see any hands. March 25th is the day of the Annunciation to Mary by Gabriel that she will have a child and he will um, save the world. That's not a day that we stop and go to church. Uh, some, many Roman Catholics do go to Mass on that, that day and remember that day. Uh, it's just nine months before Christmas, so nine more months of Christmas shopping and then I'll be, I'll be ready for your gifts. Um, so, so if you esteem a day and others don't, you might keep a day like that and other people wouldn't. Well, the calendar's full of things like that. Um, there are literally uh, saints to be celebrated on every single day of the year, and and some days have just piles of them, you know, lots of saints. Um, and then there's the Episcopalian calendar or the Roman Catholic calendar or the Orthodox calendar, so there's lots of choices as to who you would esteem on a certain day. And outside of monks, few people do all those days. Um, 
though in particular traditions you might have a saint's day that's especially meaningful to you or you might have a a, a minor church holiday um, that you would that you would especially keep um, we're coming up in two weeks on holy week and there'll be a lot of uh, special days uh, associated with Holy Week and Easter. Uh, so, so we have all these days, and Paul says, you know, that doesn't matter. Everybody honors God. Everybody loves God. God loves everybody. So don't worry about whether or not you keep a certain day and they don't keep a certain day, or whether they um, mm, fast on Saturday or not, or go to the movies on Sunday afternoon or not, you know, all those things are, those are just choices that we make. And um, if we honor God in our choices, then it doesn't matter so much what we choose. I think it's where Paul is going. And so let's keep that in mind and not, not judge each other based on um, our particular personal religious opinions, but love each other nonetheless. And that's easy for me to say, and it's very hard for you to do, but I urge you to go out there and do it. See you uh, Monday.